Hi everybody. This is the top D slider from Metal Toys DZ. It's their latest and greatest. I have stainless steel. Uh, if you're familiar with the top B slider, it's a little bit smaller and it had a much shorter travel. This has a much longer travel and it has an, an extra feature. And that extra feature is that when it's extended all the way out, you can rotate it. Now, I have been practicing with this. Actually, my hands are a little cold and my fingers are a little dry, so it's not as easy to do out here today. But uh, the way I found it best is something along these lines. Oh, it looks terrible, but it's cold. Um, I was much faster at this inside with my warm fingers. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's not as awkward as it first seems. And here would be the main move, I think. And I would do these, until you get used to it, you could do them abruptly. All the way forward. All the way down, and let it come down on your middle finger. Say so it's like it's trying to chop off your finger. Then, keep your thumb on there, move your fingers out of the way, and let your thumb slam it the rest of the way home. So up, over, down. Anyhow... Um, this side, I believe, is the bottom side. It feels natural that way. It's heavier. When you put it in your hand, it tends to want to lay with this side up, the side that says deep fried dough sticks. And that's fine. Uh, it's held together with some Torx screws. And when we get home here, we'll take it apart and have a look at the insides. But uh, my overall verdict on this is I'm very happy with it. If you're familiar with the top B slider, I think you'd be more satisfied with this one, for sure, and uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So let's move on to uh, when I get home later and uh, take it apart for you. Okay, we're back inside, and uh, now we can take a peek at how this works. Uh, mine is stainless steel, as I said earlier. The, the travel is much greater than uh, on the original top B slider. And with the new feature, being able to spin it around is a lot easier to do when your hands aren't cold and your fingers aren't dry as a bone. Uh, I like it very much. It is not magnetic, it is mechanical, just like the um, top B slider. So let's take it apart and have a peek. I've already uh, I've already seen part of this, but I haven't taken it completely apart. It uses a T8, I believe. Yes. So we use a T8 to get it apart. And we're working on taking off this plate first. This is the top plate. Okay. Gently lift that off. And what do we have here? Number top D 110. You can see that? Laser etched. That's nice. Okay, and uh, very nice construction. Wait till you see this little mechanism here. That was clever. So this screw is different. You don't want to get these mixed up. This screw is different than these screws. It's a little bit longer. What they've done here is machine a nice little, oh, I don't know what we'd call this, sort of a cam. It drops down in here and is able to slide back and forth and keep it in guidance. Uh, but it also allows the screw to pass through there and be tightened down to its fullest extent without you know, tightening it so much that you screw this down so tight that it won't move and slide around at all. This prevents it. The fact that this goes all the way through. Whoops. Oh, we won't need that for a while. Anyhow, that's the top portion. Now the bottom portion should be nothing more than uh, a couple springs holding these two balls in. We'll see. I do appreciate that these are all at least the same Torx head style. 
So this screw appears to be the same as those, but we'll keep them separate just to be safe. Okay. Now, yeah, it's already lifting off just a little bit. I'm trying to be a little bit careful about this. Okay. Nice machining. Look at those little machine lines. So there it is. Um, two little springs and two little balls. In fact, they probably, you would not put it together in that order. Let's put it back together now. So that's interesting. These are these are conical springs. One side is a little smaller diameter than the other side. I think I think what we would do here actually yeah, we are going to be forced to do that. So, we'll drop the balls back in to the to this plate and then hmm I'll put the I'll put the smaller diameter end of the spring in head first. That seems to make the most sense. You know, I suppose that if you were to flip these springs around so that the wider end was placed against the ball, that it might provide a little bit less. That might be a way to regulate, like if you feel like this is too tight when you're clicking it back and forth, uh, this might be an option. If you flip those screws, those springs around, it might just change the the strength of the of the of the of the balls just a little bit. So keep that in mind. But uh, once everything's put together, there we just slip this back on top. Yep, that's pretty simple. And uh, and then put the screws back in. So nicely made, nicely made. Big improvement over the top B, I think. Um, that's it. We'll leave it at that. Ah, uh, but wait, there's more. I forgot something that I, I'd be remiss if I hadn't told you about it. When this comes, when these arrive uh, from the factory, there is a little plastic protective covering, and I believe it was on this bottom piece. And again, I, I designate the bottom being this side as it's heavier than this side and when it's in your hand it wants to lay this way. Um, the plastic coating I think should be removed. I don't think it's necessary and I uh, I took it off right away and I, I think it felt just a little bit better. Maybe perhaps it was a little too smooth and then I also have that fear that anything like that is just going to peel off eventually or get sticky around the corners or collect fuzz around the corners because of the adhesive sticking out. I, I just, I don't think it's necessary. I didn't keep it on there and I would advise uh, taking that out. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.